Roll of Thunder um, for me is just such a significant novel in getting the students to really understand the timeline but because it's in 1933 it gives the students an understanding of why there was even a need for the civil rights movement. It gets them to understand the realities of what um, black and white people had to go through. Right now what we're going to do you know already that each of you had a character that you had to follow. What we're going to do is we're going to ask those um, volunteers to come and just do a run through of what you are going to be doing in your group. Doing something like a role play helps me to see if they have a very good and deep understanding of their character. So somebody tell me some information about Christopher John, somebody tell me one thing about his personality, anything at all that you know about him. I'm he's like rude. Why would you say he's rude? What does he do? Now at the start of the novel, each of the students were given a character to track and trace throughout the novel. So they would have been gathering evidence about that character. Where the part that he lives in, there's no racism. But when, uh, when he went to the South, I think it was, the, he was not allowed to talk to a black, white woman. When it said, again, that they addressed them as niggers in the book, he wasn't having any of it. He threw his book on the floor. Yeah, so somebody obviously could consider that quite rude. Some people, I think, would be quite worried about doing a text like this. We had debates about, for example, the use of the N-word. Obviously, the N-word is written in um, Roller Thunder as well. And I can understand why some people might be wary. But it's such a significant text to get the students to discuss the things that are going on around them. These young men have all met. What situation do you think could bring all of these people together? Somebody make something up. Why would Papa Logan, Jeremy, Little Man, Christopher John, RW and Stacey all be in the same place at the same time? Give me one thing. Maybe RW was getting in a fight with Jeremy mm -hmm. and, and uh, Christopher John and Stacey decided to stick up for Jeremy. OK, right, so let's start with that situation. Getting them to create what sort of situation would these characters come together in lets me know that they understand the social, historical and cultural context of the story. I think it also helps them to almost see their characters come to life. So we see R.W. picking on Jeremy. You are a going. No, R.W. You are that. OK, let's freeze there. So far, all of the Logan children, they have stepped in wanting to protect Jeremy. I want you to work out how you think that situation could be resolved. They then obviously then had to find a resolution and this is where sometimes there is difficulty because their natural, um, modern sensibilities kick in where the um, black characters would often want to fight everybody but they have to make sure they're true to their character. They have to, of course, be true to the time of 1933 Mississippi, but they know that Cassie, while she may stand up and be quite vocal, they possibly would know that, you know, Mama Logan, Papa Logan, maybe even Stacy would not be as vocal. What might Papa Logan do? Think about what Papa Logan said to Stacy before. Go on. He'll probably protect Jeremy as well, because mm -hmm. he'll be with his children. Yeah, so or you maybe think... he will stop the fire because of because mm -hmm. he's scared that what would happen to his family because of him. Mm -hmm. So he'll probably stop the fire. But I think it's really important for them to also articulate that evidence, not just assume that they're going to give one word answers or short answers and that's going to be enough. Now, would you stop um, RW from hitting Jeremy? No. Why? Their mm -hmm. mum and dad might go on to Papa Logan and like treat his family. So it might escalate, might, and it might get much bigger. For young people here, I think it's a really good message for them in terms of, you know, maybe the best thing to do isn't always to attack and fight where you could get into problems. Maybe you have to think about your decisions that you make a little bit differently. And I think that's a very important message for young people reading the book as modern readers. <laughs>